Hello and welcome back to another episode of Number Six with Cheese Food Reviews. Today, headed up to Lincoln Square to 016 Sandwich Shop, 016, you know, whatever. Uh, very excited, Corey's getting the meatball sub. I'm getting a muffaletta, which is a New Orleans staple, if you know, you know. Uh, so Corey's driving up there, I'm just kind of uh, mooching off of his driving, and uh, we're gonna go eat, so let's go feast on some lunch. A couple of sandwiches from 016 restaurant, Serbian American cuisine, acquired jump cut. All right, local review time. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, cool little uh, paper and sticker they got here. A little checkerboard action. Roll this open. So this is Serbian meatball sandwich. Excited to see what this is all about. There we go. Okay, so this is the bread we're working with. The meatballs are grilled, and then it's got feta fondue on there and balsamic grilled onions. Wow. It's looking fire. Looks so good. Wow. This <laughs> if you hit somebody over the head with this, like they could be injured. That is how mm -hmm. heavy this thing is. I got the muffaletta, the Lincoln Square muffaletta. It's like I mean a Serbian take on a New Orleans food, which is very wow. Okay, so this is ciabatta bread. All right, so here's just a ton of Italian meats. It's got giardinera in there. Uh, yeah, it's got the mortadella. I mean, just that's just insane. Like if you don't. If that doesn't look appetizing to you, we have different taste preferences because this thing looks like the perfect sandwich to me. All right, here we go, 016. Cheers. Cheers. This has got some great flavor. Oh my God, this is a perfect, this is perfect. Very different than meatball subs I'm used to. Yeah, I mean, even just like everything you read is so right? good. Balsamic grilled onions. It's very good though. I wonder if the Serbian meat is different. I know, I'm so curious. Dipped in vodka or something? <laughs> I'm so blown away by this. They're like, there's so many flavors, they all accent each other. But it's like a unique and different enough from a New Orleans style. It has its own little stamp of like what it's trying to do, but man, is this refreshing. Like, these types of sandwiches to me are so refreshing. Mm. And that's refreshing. Like, I'm just, oh, this is nuts. I'm so happy right now. Yeah, like everything about this, the bread's good. It's like not too crunchy and getting in the way. Mm -hmm. It's surprisingly good bread. I'm just housing this half of this sandwich. Yeah, me too. I mean, feta fondue. Yeah, I mean, come on. I, I wouldn't feta fondue. I'm gonna go walk into traffic. Oh my God, this is so good. Like, the one thing about muffalettas too, there's such an unbelievable use of oil. It's not like fully dripping out of the sandwich, but every inch of the sandwich is covered on every bite. That exact description that you used, mm -hmm. matched with the word muffaletta, could be inserted into any, any 70s porn. <laughs> Get a real muffaletta. <laughs> Got all these oily juices just dripping out, but mm -hmm. it makes it so good when you bite into it. <laughs> every inch of her. Oh, I made it even weirder. Doesn't muffaletta sound like a porn thing from the 70s? Absolutely. Let me tell you what, with the uh, foliage I've been growing on my downstairs, People could call it a muffaletta for sure. <laughs> what do you think of the fries? Have you had too many of these yet? Yeah, I had uh, all of them. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice you eating them. They're great, they're like McDonald's fries, which I love. Yeah, they really are. I um, mean, this is no 10 pounds to market meatball. Yeah, that thing was life changing, huh? It's different, it's trying to be different, it's successfully different. Yeah. I prefer 10 pounds to markets better, mm -hmm. but if you're in the mood for this. Right, how is the tenderness of the meatballs compared to Tembesta? Exact opposite. Oh, okay. Much like uh, firmer. Much firmer. Yeah. Um, and then, ironically enough, this sandwich is a partnership with Tempesta Market. This muffin. Right. So two great sandwich shops coming together to make your taste buds go on an absolute journey. It's where they get their muff meat They're from Tempesta Market. Oh, muff meat guys here. If me and Sean stand next to each other at a urinal, some people call it muffle trouble. I've heard people say that. That's what they're whispering, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so real quick, what was on my sandwich? Because of like the list of stuff, I didn't know a lot of it. So other than the ciabatta bread, the mortadella, and the capicola, smoked lanza. That's rude. Kajmak, LTO, 
lettuce, tomato, onion, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Jardinera, Ajvar aioli. Every it's single one of those ingredients, if someone said them to me on a bus, or said them around me on a bus, I would think I was getting insulted in another language. <laughs> He's acting like a real Kajmak. Yeah. That's so true. Wow. Do I love Serbian food now? Off of the one dish that I've had? I think I do. The heat's coming. It's supposed to be almost awesome. 80 today. What, really? That's awesome. Uh huh. Well, all right, you ready to do our shout out? Guys, can you please like this video? If you like this video, I'm gonna go to bed tonight. I'm gonna put my little head down on my pillow and just be smiling and just sleep a solid eight hours because I knew that you helped this channel by smashing that like button. So please do, thanks guys. Yeah, so. I'm ashamed to be your friend. <laughs> yeah, I already knew that though. <laughs> yeah, I wanna do a shout out? Yes, sir. PayPal shout out, PayPal shout out, PayPal shout out. If you guys didn't know, we have a PayPal donation button on our homepage of our YouTube channel. We had a couple people ask us about it a few months back and said, hey, I wanna donate, but I don't wanna sign up for the monthly Patreon. Can I do a one-time donation? That's the best way to do it. Yeah. And we've been giving shout outs for those when as they come in, and we got a couple people to shout out right now. PayPal shout out number one, Mr. Kevin Ashmont. <laughs> Kevin dropped a solid 50 bones on PayPal donation. And you know what? I was so happy when I saw that. I, I almost skipped and fell on my fat chins. So Kevin, thank you so much. I caught myself and all's well. And PayPal shout out number two goes Mr. Rob G. Absolute legend on this show. You should already know him by now. He donated a hundred dollars uh, It was super awesome. Rob G. We appreciate you. Yeah, once again If you guys want to donate there's a little button on our homepage. Just go click that bad boy It'll take you right to the PayPal donation page. All right rating time. Wh where is Serbia? I'm bad at geography it sounds Eastern Bloc, but I if I know out of five outlines of the country of Serbia, how many outlines of the country of Serbia do you give the meatball sandwich that you had here today, Corey? Zero sixteen restaurant. Uh, it was pretty good, but I like traditional meatball subs better. Mm -hmm. I like the red sauce better than yeah. the flavor profile I got. There was still a good flavor profile. It wasn't bad. But, you know, when I'm comparing it to other meatball subs, I don't want to lead these people astray and think that it's as good as, literally, like, I'd rather have a Subway meat, which I think Subway meatball sub is very good, actually. Yeah, I think that's like, probably, like you bad. said, that's probably their best sandwich. That's Subway's definitely, yeah, I'd yeah. imagine so. So, I really like um, the traditional style. This is still very good, but it doesn't stack up against other meatball subs, or even other non-traditional, such as Mimi's or Mimi's in uh, Indianapolis that we got, where we got oh those my little God, sliders. About that, yeah. Those were good, so, uh, good but not great. I'm, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a solid, that's still a three, that's still good. Yeah. yeah, I, um, when Corey said, like, we popped up the menu today, and I, First ever saw that they did a muffaletta sandwich. I was so excited because like Central Grocery in New Orleans The first time a buddy took me there it like changed my life to I went 25 years of my life not eating muffalettas And now I just want every single sandwich shop in Chicago to serve a muffaletta sandwich That was so damn good and had its own uniqueness from New Orleans dude. I'm going 4.75 wow. I was so blown away by that I cannot wait to take the rest of that home and scarf that down as I edit videos today. Um, guys, thank you so much for rocking with us today. Tomorrow, a uh, brand new video. We're going to Tiny Taqueria for some birria tacos. Um, so come on back. Little spot opened in River North uh, that does those. So local spot tomorrow. Excited to see you guys again. Goodbye.